Identity thieves are finding easy ways to get a hold of your personal information. This continues to be an ongoing problem for anyone on social media. At Channel 5's Angela Vargas learns it may not stop, but it can be prevented. Identity loss, stolen passwords, and bank account information can all be gathered in a single click. We spoke to a cybersecurity expert to find the fraudulent signals and how you can be protected. In a quiet tech room, a team of application developers are focused on protecting their company's identity. You don't want anyone to have access to the passwords in the database. Application developer and social media expert Richard Franca explains identity thieves online are common. Phishing emails go out every day. That's what you're going to see in your spam folder. This email came into our newsroom. It claims to be from Facebook and we have committed copyright violations. It wanted us to click the link to verify the account. We knew better. This one was very, very official from Facebook. Franca says it's clickbait. They're trying to get you to log in with your Facebook credentials, and then with that information, um, they can access everything that you use Facebook to log into. So whether that's your, a shopping account or um, other social media profiles, they have all that information at that point. Franca points out a simple way to keep your identity safe. Whenever you log on to a new site, use a new password. Uh, don't use the same password for everything that you always use. Franco says his team is always on standby to keep his company and the community safe. The valley down here, you know, needs more tech because this is where the future is. We will do the same. Franco says do not click on the link. Once you click on the link, the thieves know your location. He says major companies like Facebook or Amazon are cracking down on issues like this by just taking down the accounts. In the Channel 5 News studio, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 6. We wanted to find out what social media sites will do if you've committed a crime or if there's an issue. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. Sites like Facebook will directly contact you through a phone call or certified letter. They usually won't contact you through email and or ask you to go to a separate link.